Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Forspoken where we, before we go on with the story, I'm gonna go through the leveling process in a little bit here. You can spend mana here to learn new spells. What I meant before by the way with mana is that actually I always thought that mana would be the mental thing where you, how many spells you can use and not to upgrade them. But I'm, well anyhow, mana is gained by leveling up and can also occasionally be found in the field. Alright, thank you. Let's add a new spell to your skill set. Hold down cross to learn it. Ah, okay. We actually only have one at our disposal. Enable high speed movement and parkour. Okay, good. That was probably all of the mana we have. Not bad. Thanks, Not at all. Professor. I told you to call me Vambrace. Sure, Cuff. Sure. Shit! It might be wiser to run this time. No kidding. Magic Parkour. You've unlocked the flow ability which enables you to perform magic parkour. You can use this to break into a spirit and escape your enemies automatically scaling any low level obstacles in your path. Okay. Okay, this is awesome. I am catching some serious air. Oh yeah. Just try not to catch some air into a serious so can I? Oh, I need to get I up here, right? Win, and I'm not even getting tired. Yes, try not to get too Come on, get up. Thank you. That was close. They're gonna break the down the door. The big city, I suppose. Hello? Anyone home? Say something if you can hear me. Not a sound. Well, let's keep looking. You should probably keep an eye out for somewhere to rest, too. Let's see what's over there. Yep, will do. Setting a destination. It's easy to lose your way in the world, so make use of destination markers to have Cuff help you find the way. Any destination you mark will also be tracked at the top of the screen. You can see the buildings or landmarks you might want to mark for a visit in the map section of the main menu. Will do. Okay. I thought we could skip that, but no, we can't. Gives an overview of the surrounding area with your location at the center. Your recent movements are also tracked. Okay, that's neat. Thank you. There's a place nearby where you can take a well-deserved rest. Set a marker with X to help you find the way there. Will do. There the marker is. And... Exploring with ma ma magic, magic parkour. Magic par parkour allows you to explore your surroundings with um, acrobatic ease, climbing tall buildings in mere moments and scaling obstacles as if they weren't even there. Why not hold down L and circle and see what you can find in the town around Junon Castle with this new sc skill at your disposal? We'll do that. just what I wanted to do. Is there not a single person left? It very much seems that way. Perhaps this oddness with the air drove them to escape to safer climbs. Hope so. At least that would mean they're still alive. What I wanted to say... I mean, different games, I know, or different settings, but... Let's not be ungrateful now. With the parkour and how that critical hits attack an enemy without them spotting you or get in a strike from the side or behind and you'll sometimes inflict an extra powerful critical attack this is more likely if you attack from behind than from the side if you're clever you can check the lay of the land ahead with cuff scan and position yourself for an adventurous advantage start to battle what i wanted to say what the hell happened here not only is it completely empty, but this place is twisted. Perhaps it has something to do with strange creatures prowling about the place? What I want to say, in a way, not setting-wise, but 
from how the parkour is functioning. This game reminds me a little bit of infamous Second Son, I think was I, I only played the second one on the on PlayStation 4 when it was released back in the day. That's it. And I didn't want yeah. to say that this is a negative thing. I enjoyed Infamous pretty damn much. And the add-on, first light I think it was called. Quite nice. So danger round I don't know where the other enemy is, but I'll try to get to safety, although we can actually take this route too. Right? Nothing can happen. I should have checked, I don't even know. I mean, I didn't know that it is... Did they mention that it's similar? I imagine it was once. Happy, smiling faces on every corner. No, I can picture it now. Damn. Everything just looks broken. Not exactly the most poetic of descriptions, but yes, I suppose it does. The break. The world Frey finds herself stranded in is seemingly devoid of people. Buildings stand ruined and vicious monsters roam the ravaged land. Frey Christians the strange phenomenon that seems to be the cause of the problems, the break. Yeah. Is there nowhere that's not like broken by this shit? I suppose there might be somewhere. No one there. No one at all. Where the hell did everyone go? Your guess is as good as mine. I suppose our only choice is to keep looking. Will do, and we'll find out. First of all, what is behind? Have I been that mistaken? All this a commotion when there's no one around, don't you? Believe me, you're plenty of commotion all by yourself. Okay, enough. I am then gonna get into. I don't know if it's a tavern in the building where we are able to rest. I guess we are gonna get or receive a little bit of background story there. What was kinda nice that we have had a little fight, right? Never gonna say here. Good. No to that. I'm exhausted. Alright, Aethia is made up of four realms, each governed by its own Tanta. To, to the north lies Junoon, which is rich, fecund forests. To the east, Prenost, heavy with mountains. Westward, the great plains of Risoria stretch, oh, stretch, oh, sorry, my English is kind of weird today, off to the horizon, and to the south, the shimmering waters of Avolet glisten in the sun. Or, at last, at least, <laughs> they did before the corruption brought misery and ruin upon the land. Yep, we will... Ah, okay, we are all fed up with potions. Aethia was once a rich and vibrant land, full of life and lot, Latha, but then the corruption came, and from this first day, and from the first day it merged, it was clear that nothing would ever be the same again for its once carefree people. Those it touched were lost forever. Those lucky enough to escape it were forced to abandon their homes and flee to Kippel, the only place where safety could be found, or so they believed. There's got to be a bed around here, right? Where we can rest up. Time to take a rest. Emnys can't enter this building, making it a safe place to take some time out. Use the bed to rest up and restore your health. So nice. that's actually... I could use her. That's, you know, a normal thing. Yeah, don't need to comment that, right? A normal thing with RPG games. Anyways, I guess now we are going to get a little bit of information and then we are good to go on Actually, after the loading time's actually over. Sounds like trouble. Yes, and given what we've seen so far, I'd say you need to be very careful in case you're planning on investigating. Shh. 
Shit! What is it now? Is this the break shit's doing too? I believe so. It corrupts everything it touches before destroying it completely. Now hurry up, get out of here while you still can. Is it decreasing our health? Oh, hello, boy. Haven't seen you in a while. Oh, oh, fuck! What now? Well, for starters, I think we should run. Again. Too late for that. You can use your parkour. Defeat the dragon. Evasion and mag magic parkour. You can use magic parkour to dodge enemy attacks in battle. Press circle at the right moment to take a quick step out of the way. You can also hold down while performing magic parkour to evade automatically. You find that different enemies require different evasive. Hey, what the hell do I do here? Fighting, my dear How the hell am I supposed to fight a dragon? Anything that big must have a weak point. Piercing attacks. Certain powerful attacks can pierce right through cast defenses, dealing a lot of damage if Ray doesn't evade them in time. If you see the telltale signs of an enemy building up on top of them, of these, press circle and press to get out of the way. Okay. Okay, let's do the powerful attack. Careful, you're about to get badly bit. You were saying? I dodged, right? That's not a good thing, is it? Probably not. You might want to find some cover. Fast. Shit. Oh fuck. Okay, it's charging up, I guess. Unblockable attacks. These attacks are even more deadly than piercing blows. They can't be blocked or evaded and deal a huge amount of damage. If you see the telltale signs of an enemy building up to one of these, find something to hide behind or use magic power to put some distance between you and your foe fast. Okay, this is bad. Very bad. Take Just want to even doing anything? I think so. Keep chipping away. That's it. Did you see that? So gratifying to see my hard work paying dividends. Okay, let's go there and punch him. Hey, fuck off. Look out. Okay, let's quickly get to it. Come on! You're mine. What did I do to deserve this? Okay, I need to get some cover quickly. Fast. Come on, run, baby. That was neat. Fight him here, it's a very, very low HP bar. Fight him! It was nearly dead, wasn't it? Anyways, I'm not gonna judge her. I would have won in the first place, by the way.
All right, 40 Do you think XP. It's dead? The dragon? No. Well, it did get crushed by all that rubble. But I don't think it's dead, by the way. Don't know if it's gonna be the boss enemy in the end, but anyways, guys, that right now is then already gonna bring us to we can save, right? Okay. Um events seem wait, wait, wait. Let's see if we it are just a couple of meters. Let's then get out of here. This would be a better spot to end it, I think. What? How does that thing not even have a scratch? And the battle goes on. Dodge rolled. If you use magic parkour while preparing a spell, you can make an even bigger evasive, bigger evasive maneuver than usual quick step. Prepare an attack and... Okay, so I try. You need to get directly in front of it now. What? Are you trying to get me killed? It has a blind spot. Trust me. That's not doing much. Do you care to not let me get scratched? So if it's charging up like that, then run at it. Can I actually try to predict its next movement? Come on, drop dead already. I'm afraid our reptilian friend seems as stubbornly as healthy as ever. Mm. How about you? It's gone again. Stay alert. Try to work out where it will attack from. Okay, its next powerful attack is incoming. Or maybe not. You know there's nowhere to run, don't you? Fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> okay, good. So, looks like there's a town up there. Hopefully one that isn't deserted. Well, you'll never find out if you don't go and see. Thank you. And that, guys, brings us right now to the end of this episode. And you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.